Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Solo with me, Variax. And uh, if you sat through that entire 90 minute video that I uploaded last week, then uh, you must be really enjoying this, and so I thank you for that. And um, to be honest, I am too. I'm recording this the next day, which I don't normally do, but I'm really getting into this whole Baldur's Gate Solo thing, and it's it's a unique challenge in itself, and I'm. I say it's very challenging, and I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. And there's also some loot here that I never got. Oh yeah, that's right. They are uh, um, just gems. I am going to just do a little thing, which I should have done before I started, but um, forgot. And I'm just going to turn like stuff down just a tad more. <laughs> Basically, it's a little bit more. To so you can hear me loud and clear. Mm. Even though you know, it shouldn't be that much of a difference, but. Um, Minor things. Oh, I did do one thing as well, and I used Shadow Keeper to change Ayana's uh, name so that she didn't have two capital I's at the start. I know I'm going to get sort of uh, comments about Ayana, the name, because it's an unusual name, I know that. It just popped into my head as I was thinking, what name should I pick? Ayana was there. Um, double I is in Iosia, which is the fantasy um, sort of world that I created in my head. Um, Ayana. Double I thing. I don't know. I just quite. I just go with that. Anyway, let's go and see Yoshi, shall we? No, obviously we're not going to have Yoshi in our party. So there He's going to introduce himself madness. to us. If you are not in league with the evil that dwells in this unholy place. Yoshimo begs your assistance. So he's going to ask for help. He's been captured here as well. Um, he will tell us a little bit about what's up ahead, and um, he will ask to join our party. Uh, we shall decline. Better never get this place without you. But, um... Yes, he will still tell us about the, um... Yeah, the next chamber there are four portals, so he, he's, he's a good guy, because even though you kick him out the way, you don't even accept him into the party, he still tells you stuff about the next, um... About the next couple of areas. So he knows he knows a bit about this place. Whatever you want. And this whole person, which may well be useful now. <laughs> Basically. Although I think we'll be making sort of uh, liberal use of in this next room uh, this scorcher spell. So let's uh, go ahead and save it and get in there. And see uh, see what happens. So I do have a plan for this room and it may well not work at all. Um, let's try this. And here we go! Now hang on, AI off, AI off, thank you. Right. Thank you. Oh, they're immune to magical damage. I forgot about that. Alright, so let's see if we can just do a lot of damage to these guys. That didn't really work that well. That didn't really work that well. So... Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a pain, honestly. We should have just gone the fighter route. I forgot these were immune to magical damage. We're just going to have to try and take them out. And not die. Obviously easier said than done. Because we have four Mephits wailing on us. But if we kill the Mephits, they'll just respawn with these portals. So, I leveled up. Let's do that now, because it could be in... What's that in? It's in Thief. Level that up then. Um, hiding Shadows. It's getting quite decent now. We are leveling up at quite a pace. I'm surprised, actually, how quickly we're leveling up. But now it's a little bit of a gap. 20,000 until Mage. That's 60,000 we've got to get until we level up in Mage, so... Let's try and ignore them. So yeah, this wasn't the way I was going to do it. I was going to use the Scorcher spell to uh, look how the Mephits die as you kill the portal they're from. So you have to go after the portals, but um, no, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, I forgot they were they were they were um, they were immune to magic because I was hoping to just do the scorcher and just like go down the line with them. There we go. Let's have a heal. Do we have any more potions? I should have checked that. Okay, well that's our last healing potion. Let's save it. I know that's completely ill advised. There is a uh, corpse here. That is, as we all know, Khalid. The stammering idiot from the first game. Now, I think I already have this spell, but as it's 
unlikely that I will ever use it, I shall erase it and hopefully memorize it again. For a thousand experience points. And uh, we, we got something else as well. Wand of summoning key. Right, I do want the one, the, 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 the summoning wand. Although I have to remember to use that reasonably quickly because that's one of those items that will stay in my inventory forever. Uh, so I think, you know, I'll use it next time, I'll use it next time. I never do. I do believe this scroll will be cursed. Um, I can't identify it anyway. I'm gonna drop it. I think it is. There's a bit of gold. And... No, I don't really want that ring, even though it's worth quite a lot, I think. There's some healing for us. What was that we just picked up? This one? Cloud kill. So cloud kill is good. So cloud kill is good. Lightning is good. Frost is good. Summoning is good. Now. Yeah. yeah, that's better, isn't it? No one crosses the I should have saved it. I should have saved it. Anyway, kill him. And then for no reason... Return you came. She sees me anyway, not okay. <laughs> Nothing shall... Alright, so this is a clone. Um... Master. What are you, you... Who are you and what are you doing here? Um... Yeah, she's, she's a bit mad. Now, strangely... Alright, that's kind of... Oh, goodness. <laughs> Let's go. What are you casting, lightning bolt? Ow! Alright. Just will watch it, watch it. Interesting. Didn't expect that, honestly. Didn't expect it to be so badass there. Tend to just take her out with melee, but I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll save it and go in there. We'll have a wizard's duel. Or wizardess duel, or sorceress's duel, or whatever. Um. Oh, I, I think that's actually it. Ow! Alright, just kill her. <laughs> Let's whittle down these um, mirror images. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. What's that? That's an ogre. That's not good. Kill. What are you doing? No. That's and that's a dire wolf. Oh dear. I don't even know if I'll be able to cast this in time. Unlikely. Good. You're held, man. <laughs> what the hell? You hurt okay. She stopped doing stuff now. That's interesting. Why am I going after the one that's, um. Oop. Not attacking me. She's near death. Well, mostly just for revenge. If I'm gonna die, I'm taking her with me. Right. Well, you guys. I'm not happy with. Now move. Move. Keep clicking on these points of interest. Badly injured and injured. So we're doing okay. Um, maybe make the ogre run away. Right. Deal with them one at a time. At least I get experience for these summons. Which is nice. You know, it's a good thing. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright then. So that was less than uh, less than good. Wand of missiles key. Not gonna take that. Wand of magic bloody missiles. We have an abundance of fireballs. I am going to use them. So these jars are filled. Oh, is that a? It is. Let's take that then. Uh, these jars are filled with clones of the same woman, or just parts of her at least. It seems uh, to be living, but most are lifeless. Some seems to be um, living, but also lifeless within the fluid. One jar is broken. Yes, she escaped. Okay, we have a lot of fireballs. I like fireballs. Fireballs are nice. Fireballs make people go boom! Oh, hang on. Wand of fire. I also want that. You know why? Fireball. Failed? Failed? Come now. Let's save it and uh, we'll run in there and... Backstab. You're embarrassing me, Ayana. Come on. 
Come on. Thank you. Alright, well, we're not going to help this guy against this method. He is an assassin. Hmm. Okay, glad that that worked because our hiding shadows are moves. No, nah, move silently. I think it is, isn't that high? I know one's like the initial hiding thing. Oh, this method is kicking his ass. Backstop this thing instead then. I'll wait till he's near death and then I'll get experience with both of them. Okay, there we go. Beg for death, and I'll make it quick. Don't kill him! I was hoping to kill that thing in one hit, but... Seems that is not going to happen. Near death... Oh, I didn't get the experience for him. I don't know how much that is. Probably not much. Not a big thing, really. Uh, yeah, I know metagaming. I know. It's going to happen. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, God. We didn't kill that thing. Yeah, it's coming for me. Use this. Ow. Ow. Alright, just attack it for a bit. Gonna use this. This is a nice bit of healing for us. What? Where do you come from? I'm surprised that worked. You should be dead! Bloody goblins. I guess they were just outside of the arc of the fireball. That would make sense. Yeah, because they're all the way up here. So that fireball was largely wasted on two goblins, but we can take down now with our plus one longsword of death. Fear our plus one longsword. Alright. Save it. There's a trap. Just there. It's there. I told you where it is, Ayana. There we go. Okay, it was a little bit further up. Just testing you. Right. Um, no, I think we'll keep like this because... Yeah. This is where all traps are. I think these guys get killed by the traps as they move around. Or maybe not. He should be alright to kill now, actually. Good. Move up. Badly injured. Do I have another one of them? I do. That's really nice. There we go. I'm not going to search their bodies, because this is where we get all our ones from. But not that one. Because that one is the magic missile one. That one's useless. So, um... Got that one. I got that one. I got that one. So we got a whole load of ones. You know what? I might well rest here and uh, do a whole um, identifying spree. Yeah, that's not a surprise. Yeah, I can't do that. Not allowed. Yeah, we don't have any identify spells. It's unsurprising, really. And I can't use this ring until I've identif identified it, so we really need to sort of rest up somewhere and identify stuff. And we are dual rest. We only have, like, a couple of spells left. And uh, I, I can't really free up any uh, inventory space at all here. So, yeah, kind of, uh... There's this, though, a portal key. Can I get rid of that now? No, I can't. So, um, we are going to go and rest. I say go and rest. We could do it right here, but, um... I'm not going to. I think I can get these two corpses. Don't want to go any further than that, though. So yeah, we'll just back ourselves here and have a bit of a, a bit of a snooze. Although I am going to do this. Instead of these. Uh, to replace these spells, I'm going to use the ones that I'm going to identify. Plus that ring. I might not bother with the ring. Don't know. Depends how many ones I want. So what am I going to use in here? This one, because it's... Oh. Just 
put your armor on the floor for now. The Wand of Fire can do either uh, Fireball or Aznaz Scorcher. I haven't decided which yet. But we already have lots of Fireballs anyway, so we'll get rid of that. And I don't think I'm going to use this. Wand of Frost is probably something I'm going to use. Cloud Kill, no. Lightning, no. Right, we'll do this then. Now I can equip that. And, um, and that. So we'll use fire and frost on them. And because I can use these... Oh. Well, obviously we're going to use that then. So this is going to be sold. Hmm. Oh yeah, is this... Oh yeah. No, no, that. Yeah, we can get rid of this. Although I don't need to now. So I might as well keep it. I have uh, another... One. But I might save that for the girdle of bluntless. Bluntness. Bluntless? The bluntless uh, girdle, which is... Uh, I don't know, I don't even know, that doesn't even make any sense. But I didn't mean to say that, I meant to say... Uh, bluntness. Ow! Thank you. Um, yes, we're not gonna hide, are we? We're just gonna charge in there. See what happens. Now, I don't normally do this room, so this is gonna be quite interesting for me. I know there's a vampire Let in here. So I'm provided uh, with flesh blood. So this is the vampire. Don't come after me. Oh yeah, if we can kill that thing, we'll get a lot of experience. I might use this for uh, this then. Because if we can kill that thing, it's quite quite impressive. We are in combat though, aren't we? Oh, we're not in combat even though there's a hostile there. Super! So I could do this! No, wait. I don't even have that anymore. I was going to use, um, magic missile. Get a lot of experience if we... Oh, And you will likely... Yep, I thought so. Ow! Melfs! Just kill the assassin. It's a mage. It's alright. It's fine. No loot from them. Now I basically went in there to see if we could kill the vampire. I'm not sure whether you ever... You might get some like massive experience if you manage to get it before it disappears. I don't remember. Oh, I can wear this while I'm not wearing my... armors. Let's go down here. I mind using the Wand of Frost on these... on this... Oh, actually. What else have we got? Yeah, we'll use the Wand of Frost. No, yes. No, yes, yes, no, no. Yes. For a bit of a laugh. There we go. Now, it's pretty obvious we're going to fireball in there with that group of uh, dwarves. Pretty obvious. It's a good tactic. I have lots of fireballs. We're going to get rid of the scroll because it's using a slot in my inventory. Probably won't kill them all. So actually, rather than doing that, we'll finish the last one off with the Scorcher. All this? This? No. Yeah. We'll do that. Heals some health. 17 damage as well is a fair bit. Are they all dead? I guess that's a good little ability. You wouldn't you wouldn't even think to use it in a normal game, but that vampire touch is at this stage pretty nice because 17 points of uh, 17 hit points is is a good lot of my hit points that I get back from that. Nothing in there is there? Nope. And I think one of these might be either trapped or locked. Can't remember. Better safe than sorry though. Nope, don't want any of that. Okay, so they're both locked. Again, I don't normally do this part of the dungeon. Because I normally skip it with the Dungeon Be Gone mod. I want that, the good little, good little bluntness, which is, you know, it's nice. Nice little item to have for now. Until I get a rather nice girdle later on. Oh, I failed. I failed to copy that spell. 
I can't really mind about that. It's the first one she's failed. Now, I am pretty determined to get out of here now without resting anymore. So, this is it. So basically, I've got to get out of here with two Scorchers, a mirror image, and a fireball. Plus backstabs and whatever else I have. Some nice items in here. Lots of spells. And this dude. Me out of this hole. So this guy wants to be uh, let out. Um, so I'm not your captor. I was recently a prisoner myself. So of course we'll let him out. Um, do you know I can remove you from your cage? There's a key in one of the chests over the doll. Please hurry. Okay. Because you know that works. That's what would happen, right? I'm sure one of these. I'm sure there's a trap somewhere. It might be in here. Oh, there's one there as well. Okay, well, let's learn this spell, because that's quite a nice spell. Except we don't need it because we have um, our thief skills to make up for it. But if, if I wasn't a thief, then that could have been very useful. I did actually consider, and I, I don't mind telling you guys this, um, being a fighter mage cleric, which should have been interesting, and then I could have detected traps with the, with the cleric spell and used knock to uh, unlock things. But I like thief because of the um, the backstab and stuff, and you know, I just I just fancied the the, the thief element more. Um, this is probably I won't be able to identify it. There's probably other things I want. I'm going to drink some of these potions to free up um, here. So I can put these other potions on it. And we'll find out what this little um, potion is. It is a potion of fire breath. That's quite nice. 60, 60, 10 damage. Which is quite a lot. I don't know who we're going to use it. We might use it on this guy, actually, because when he... He's a, you know, he's a shape shifter, and um, we got everything there. Oh yeah, I need this key. That's what I need. But also, ow! I knew there was more traps. Damn you! Okay, I don't really need this. Although, well, I can relearn it. Cause what if I fail to relearn it? I'll be without invisibility. I'll learn it. Yay! That's another 2,000 experience. Um, and there was some potions of health. Uh, sorry, elixir of health even. Which also restore... Yes. Very well. Uh, they, they, they stop potion. They stop poison. They stop poison. Which can be quite nice. I mean, they're, they're a little bit better than antidotes because they also restore health. 10 points of health and stops antidote and stops um, poisons. So I'll probably keep them instead of any antidotes, at least for now. And I actually took damage there on purpose, so that I um, could use some of those potions up. Save See? Me, dear sir. Please save me. Um, it is nothing. It's fine. You can follow me out. Come along. What's your name? Uh, Frinidin. But I do want to go in here. Get out of the way! Yeah, we're going to use this potion on him. That'll probably kill him. I would have thought. Yeah, he, he's a bit... Kind of invading my personal space. You're, uh, you've been a bit creepy. Okay, are you sure there's no more traps? Let's just wait a little bit. I'll trust you. But not enough not to save. Okay, colour spray. And a lot of gold. Blindness. I already have that. Nope. Okay. Yeah, some arrows. Blur. And a protection spell. Oh, I want that. I think I already have blur. Okay, good. I want to remember to relearn that because that is an important spell. I want that. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, I want that as well. I should be able to just take those because they'll stop on, stuck on top of the ones I've already got. But no, I have to do it myself. How very inconvenient. Right. 
Yeah, these these elixirs of uh, health or uh, haste are pretty nice. All right, come along then. When are you going to turn against me? Just wondering. Oops. No, I don't shut. The okay, fine. We're almost out. We're almost out. We are almost out. It's very exciting. No? Nope. No? Hmm. Ow! Yep, again, I did that on purpose so I could use these up. Get my elixir of haste in there. There we go. I want him to sort of turn. I mean, I don't want to break character, man. I don't want to attack him before, uh, before it's time. But yeah, we're going to get ambushed in here and it's going to be annoying. But fine. Fine. We'll have him with us and see what happens. So, um, yes, reinforcements. Just to put an end to this here and now, we'll see the end of Irenicus and your little guild war before this day is through. And I'll be like, what the hell are you talking about? Guild war? Um, he doesn't listen to us, he'll gonna attack us whatever we say. I just went out of here, and uh, yeah, he'll say, well, we shall release you. Um, I want this. <laughs> yes. It's truly really amazing that you have made it this far, Tasty One, seeing as you can be so easily fooled. Yeah, and then he becomes all that. Right. So I tell you what, we'll use this. So sort of, not now. We'll wait for the other guy to get back down here. Because I really want to get. I think he's the toughest one. So just do it at him, I guess. Oh, hang on. Oh, it acts as scorcher. That's cool then. Pretty neat. Um, do that again. Spell's been interrupted. Oh my! Um, I don't have any other things to cast. The only thing I have is I got another one of them and I got the Scorcher. Uh, the Fireball. Okay, we got rid of him. Try and do the Scorcher on him. Ow. Okay, good. This should do it. This should do it. No. Nope. Injured. We cannot die to this dude. He's the last one we have to kill before we get out of here. Kill him. Now. Yes. Good. Well done, Ayana. Well done. 1,000 experience points for him. What was, what was the shape changer worth in XP? 3,000. Yeah, he was the toughest. That fire breath is basically I thought it I thought it would come out like burning hands, but apparently not. But yeah, these these potions you don't normally bother with. Right. Now we're gonna escape the dungeon! And yeah, the second level wasn't as bad as the first, but then we did have a load of um equipment and such. So that was quite nice. And haven't died yet. Haven't died so far in uh, this little session. That's nice. We've got out! What? The tunnel slopes upward into the welcome glare of daylight. Such is your relief that you barely notice the debris at your feet. The remnants of a battle fought only moments before. Surveying the carnage, you hear a scream of rage. And a massive explosion collapses the passage behind you. The sounds of combat greet you as you struggle to your feet. The fight, it seems, is still going strong. So we got out, and now we're going to see this cutscene next, which is one of my favourite cutscenes of any film, uh, sorry, <laughs> any uh, game ever. It just makes you realise what a badass Irenicus is, and sort of just what you're up against. Um, it's, it's like, you're just like, wow. And it adds a lot of different like elements and story elements and stuff, and I think it's really well done, so we shall watch it. You dare to attack me here? 
Do you even know whom you face? You will suffer! You will all suffer! So, Godchild, you have escaped. You are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing, do you? I don't care what you're doing. Let us go! I won't let you leave, not when I'm so close to unlocking your power. We don't want anything from you. Enough! I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. This is an unsanctioned use of magical energy. All involved will be held. This disturbance is over. Must I be interrupted at every turn? Enough of this! This mage's power is immense. We must overcome him quickly. Enough! I haven't the time for this. You will cease your spell casting and come with us. Your pathetic magics are useless. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. Boring nature. You may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. We have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. Help me. And there we go. I have two minor points, uh, sort of gripes about that little cut scene and they both revolve around the sound because you have the sort of ambient um, but hustle and bustle of the city behind it which I don't think works very well and this music here sort of kicks in a little too soon at the end there and uh, it doesn't really fit with it but they, they, they did their best with the um, with the engine and such we're going to shop now we's going shopping Okay, so how much gold did we get out there? We got out 1300, well, 1400, and um, a lot of nice stuff, so good for us. And also leveled in mage, just mage, for now. Thief again soon. Level 3 and level 4 spell, and 2 hit points. Now we do need to get a level 4 spell, I think that will be our priority. Um, or two level 4 spells, and there's two that I have in mind, but for now I think we'll... We'll invest in some protection from missiles. We actually have to go and get some spells now, because this guy's just over here. And do we have space? We do. Not you. You. So the spells I want at level 4 are... Let's see if he has them. Oh, we want that. And we want... Actually, we don't want it yet. I could always buy that when I have the Ring of Human Influence on and get a little bit more. But for now, these are sort of essential. Greater Malays on. And. And. Should be obvious. Don't tell me you don't have it. How can you not have it? He doesn't have it. Well, Stone Skin. But let's try and get this one anyway. This one's, I mean, this, that was 800 gold. That's quite a lot for us to... Okay. We didn't fail it, at least. Let's memorize both those. So I don't think we'll be able to afford Stone Skin now. Uh, until we sell some stuff at the Adventurer's Mart. Oh, the Adventurer's Mart. I could have sold them to him, but I don't know. The Adventurer's Mart is just, like, cooler. And yeah, I don't need a scroll case, really, because I just use the scrolls that I get. We haven't got to the stage where we'll be finding scrolls that will come in handy later. Cause I just, uh, I'll just, I'll just cast them, basically. Tell me all about it. So let's sell all this stuff to this dude. Ribald. Alright, we are interested in items. Selling this dagger, this quarterstaff, um, this bastard sword. That, not the male of the dead just yet. Pull, uh, oh yes, not that either. And that was only worth 12, but hey. Took it along for the ride. And we are going to identify this pommel jewel, because I think we get a, twi a 25 gold profit on doing that. No, 200, uh, 125. I don't think I really want to identify these because I can always do that one time. Plus, I think it's actually no, it isn't cheaper to um, 
identify them from from scrolls because I think scrolls are 110 each and identifying from a shop is a hundred. Let us have a look because she should have some identify is scrolls on her. Peasant? And they are worth um no you don't. That's weird. Anyway, stone skin. Stone skin? Thank you. Again, it's worth quite a lot, so if you don't mind, I would really appreciate it if you would. Thank you. Right, now we'll just have one and one. I don't usually speak to the likes of you, but hello. No identify scrolls, really? How bizarre. You got friends and everything, but when it comes to identifying, that's weird, isn't it? Um, yeah, scroll, scroll case is the same here as it was up there. Oh, there. Yeah, 160 each, so it's worth doing it at the shop, at least for now. I suppose with the Identify Scrolls, you could do it, um... You could do it, like, on the, on, on the fly, like, wherever you are. But yeah, I don't, don't need that. So, currently, we've got these. It'll cost me 300 to identify them. Um, just thinking about doing the circus tent with these three things. How that would work. Or whether I should just rest now. No, you know what? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go and identify these, and then um, the adventure marks the finest Try and do the circus tent. Room. Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustration. Because it'll be fun. Goods, bare and plain. So there we go. So let's try this one first. The wand of lightning. Very well. Let's go into this quest. So the circus tent has been. What has occurred? Very strange things have occurred here. Um, no, nobody has come out who who, who went in. Um, nobody's gotten out. So let's see if we can go in there and solve that. Also, this guy, this little kid here, is missing his mummy. She went in, never came out again. I shall go and find her for him. Yes, because I'm a nice guy, girl. Yeah, Ian is Ian is a nice girl, Whatever unless of course it suits me not to be. Okay, he's going to ask for his uh, riddle to amuse Carla. I shall ha take the riddle, and that's the answer. Easy. Alright, let's go in. So this is obviously not a circus tent. Obviously not. It's, um... What is it? Who are you? Oh, whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's, he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost... Oh, please run! I shall not go anywhere until I've had an explanation, ogre. So this is Aerie. She's an NPC, a uh, half-elf NPC, cleric mage, and she has been transformed into the guise of an ogre. She asks us to go and release the chains by getting a um, a key from some peasants over there. Except the peasants look like orcs, and the key looks like a sword. It's a bit hmm. Although we do see it's airy, so it's not that much of a riddle, really. And these are the peasants. Sorry, the 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 orcs look like peasants. I know what I was saying. You guys know what I was saying as well. I'm I'm not sure why I'm doing this exposition for you guys, but I am. So get over it. So we should be able to take these guys just in Mortal Kombat. I am wearing that ring, right? Yes. Okay. Come on, peasant. Fall beneath my blade. There we go. This is going to be quite difficult. Well, I suppose we do have the healing. It's the next room I'm not really looking forward to. The uh, floor above this. Okay, we took care of him, alright. 
Don't be awkward, thank you. So he has a scroll of friends, he always has a scroll of friends. Every single time he has a scroll of friends. And this is a sword that we need, which is actually a key to free the ogre, which is actually a half elf. Makes sense. You, so you there you the go. Key. Or rather, the sword. Please, please give it to me, and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. Sorry, I'll try not to uh, talk over the voice actors, but sometimes I forget they're going to kick in. My hands, my skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Beovar. Well, we must find Quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. Yes, well, you wait here. I'll go and do that. Tells us that there's, there's illusions everywhere. And we leveled in Thief again. So, let's bash that up all the way. Okay. And there's a sex slave here. Woot! Here sorry, a pleasure save. I, I, said, I, said a, I said a rude word, I'm sorry. Um, she has nothing to say, really. Okay, this is going to be interesting, this next room. Quite challenging. This is what the lightning thing is for. Because we kind of get surrounded pretty quickly here. Of course. So come on, gather up, gather up. Okay. So one for you, 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 one for you. Die! Oh god. Okay, that did injured and badly injured. Ow, ow, ow. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Tell you what we need. We need that. And web I have already. This was a bad idea. Why am I doing this? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Um if I manage to um What else have we got? Um Okay, this is a good use of this now. Help me! Cast it! <laughs> Sacrifice them! Oh god, they're all dead. No, 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 no. These don't even matter as well, because these are all the bloody illusions, these guys are. If I cast this, it should make them all go away. But it's... I think it has a reasonably long casting time. Six. Yes. That's reasonably long. Um, hmm. Alright, let's let's have a... No, actually, there's no point having a healing bush. I know I could just run upstairs. I know, I know, but it doesn't feel right, man. It doesn't feel right. Come on, cast it now. Cast it. Cast it. Cast it. I don't know why she isn't... Yeah, losing her spell time. We could just skip this room. Could just skip it. I have an idea. I have an idea. Stop hitting me. I'm trying to run away. I'm trapped. Okay, that that didn't work. <laughs> um Again, optional room, because I could just run through it. But I had an idea there, it just didn't work because alright, tell you what we'll do, we'll have this. Hmm. No. And it can't happen. So, get that. I suppose web might have worked actually, it could have been quite useful. I suppose that those, thinking about it, these are like ideally placed f to deal with room, because you, you cast web and then you cast, um... Dispel magic, and I think dispel magic will dispel the... Illusions. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I think I already have Dispel Magic. I do. So, I can use this. Yeah, so now there's not too many, and we can kill them! The werewolves are illusions! 
the thing is, I can't take these guys up there with me because they're pretty handy. It's another thousand experience for me sat there. Hello, Mr. Genie. I'm going to use this web thing, so I'm not going to uh, unlearn that. Also, yeah, um, let's have one of them, one of them, one of them, one of these. That's probably a good balance. Um, what's it going to do? Oh, yeah. I need that. There. That. Here. So, he's going to tell us to poo, uh, beware because Kala awaits our presence. And we'll be like, okay. That's groovy. That is fine. Let's kick his ass! Well done, my friend. Truly, I doubted that you would survive to meet me. Welcome to my domain. I regret that my hospitality will result in your deaths. Act them, my shadows! If they be fools, my other beasts shall strike them down! If not, the task shall fall to you, my shades. The circus now truly begins! Now, yeah, this is where he tells us that the shadows are real and the werewolf, the werewolves, or wolfwares, or whatever they are, are fake. Can I get that off? Okay. That's going to make things interesting. So that's Quail. That blob of goop there is Quail. Don't attack the illusions. Now, Quail was an NPC in the first Baldur's Gate. Um. I'm waiting. Ah, uh, let's use this. All of them at actually, yeah, all of them at him. Well. Okay, one, two. Ah, I should just fire them everywhere. Yeah! Oh. Okay, what's that then? He's badly injured. Now, I can't really get to him without endangering my uh, own safety with the web, so I'm just going to do this. I did it. Might kill Quail there as well. Whoops. <laughs> No, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. No! <laughs> this isn't what was supposed to happen. This isn't what was promised to me. I have planned this for too long, only to have my plans shattered by some inbred northern adventurers. I, I just wanted to be respected. <laughs> You deserve to die, known. How many have suffered that you might keep your illusions of grandeur? So, yeah, it was a gnome. He was badly treated within the circus, and he found a, uh, a genie who granted him two wishes. And that's what he got for them. We learned this through the I'm Unfinished quiet. Business mod. Okay. Um... Which isn't included in this, obviously, but, but yeah, the unfinished business mod sort of expands on Kala's story a little bit, and we sort of know a little bit more about why he why he did what he did. So, uh, and this is where they have a little discussion, and um, Quail puts it to her that she should uh, she should join us. We're going to say no. There's no room for her at my side. No room at all. No room. Yes. So we got a bunch of stuff off him. More than I can carry. Actually, no. Strangely, I don't want that. I do not want this. I certainly want this infrarision spell because that is the most useful thing in the world. And I forgot about that. I could have saved. I could have saved. Um, that's kind of annoying. I could have saved 800 gold. Okay, this is the girdle of piercing, which I might want instead of this. But for now, we're going to put this on. Because this is the ring of human influence which gives us uh, charisma 18 and can charm person once per day. So now we have Thupa Karavma. Thupa Karavma. This is what it is. Also, we go over here and talk to Hannah. Well met and welcome. And he is, she is the mother of the child outside. There's always that. I don't know where that comes from. It's there, nonetheless. Um, and these are the second small. You can you can never win money from these guys. Hello there. Oh, I thought that you 
could bet with them. Maybe when you come back after a while. Circus worker. Hey. Okay. I thought that you might be able to kind of uh, bet with them, but I don't think you can ever win. You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Well, I saved you all. And in doing so, I gain a point of reputation, yay! For the glory of arms! No problem! There we go. And talk to him, and he'll give us a little bit of experience. Not much, though. You don't get a lot for that little quest of saving his mum, but... We saved his mum. That's nice. And we level up in Fighter, which was great. So... Onwards! Uh, yeah, let's go and sell some more things. We could, I mean, to be like more, um, more better, more efficient. We should have done the circus tent before we sold a load of this stuff and then we would get more money for it. Or at least a little bit more because of the uh, Charisma 18 we now have. Although it hasn't really altered the price of the Mail of the Dead. It's more to do, I think, with selling, with buying rather than selling. Not 100% on that. Yeah, I think I'll get the girdle of piercing. Um, wear that rather than the girdle of bluntness because I miss all weapons, man. They're not nice. Well, then again, I'll tell you one of these things that I'm after that I'm sort of looking at. Uh, the reflection shield plus one. It's not much. I can almost afford it already. And it reflects missile weapons back at the user. So, doesn't give it a brilliant armor class bonus, but it makes me immune to missile weapons. You know, and, I, and since... I, it's not that, that useful in the uh, sort of the main game because you, you for one, don't know where um, missile weapons sort of guys are going to shoot and um, you also have, like, like a, a wide variety of people to deal with them. Whereas in here, in this sort of scenario, this shield could be extremely useful because, again, it makes me immune to missile weapons. Immune to missile weapons. So it's something to bear in mind. Even though it doesn't give me like a massive armor class bonus, um, I might get that. The alternative in the early game is to get a sh uh, small shield plus two from the um, all this, of course. I mean, that's quite nice. Um, a small shield plus two from the sort of the party in the sewers. But that's going to give me an armor class of uh, bonus of Three and this one's going to give me an armor class of two, so I'm I'm losing an armor class bonus, but I'm gaining gaining immunity to my, to missile weapons, which also means I won't need to wear this um, this so much, and I could wear this not that that this, which helps against plus weapons and uh, the boots of avoidance also aren't that useful either, or you know the not really needed. So. Now I have this, and this is sort of awkward. I think I'm going to get a scroll case and a, a, a gem. Make your dreams come true today. Gem case thing. I think he has a gem case thing. He does. Let's have that. I want that. Gem bag. That's it. I want that. And I want. Um. I want them. I want them as well. And I want, I want the shield that we were talking about as well. I want that. That's my sort of list of things that I want. And then we'll get the, the Ring of Energy and the um, other stuff. Because the Ring of Energy can actually hurt... Um, <coughs> I know it's a bit early to be talking about him. But can actually hurt Kang, uh, Kangax. Can actually hurt him. So it's pretty useful on him. Hello. Now, by waiting that little while, I saved myself a little bit of gold, because now that's only 200, uh, 272. So, yes, anti leet and stuff. So. So, I think... Hang on. Try and get vaguely organized. Now, I know. Those two are staying there. Uh, I've got them too, so I've got this to play with, essentially, and this. Um, well, we're going to take a. We're going to have a rest now. I'm just thinking about what to do next because I, I basically need another. I need more money to buy a nice shield.
Nothing. So yeah, I mean that fortress shield plus four or plus three or whatever is obviously a, a better shield because it gives me plus seven versus uh, arrows, and that makes it you know a practically immune to to missile weapons. But it 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 was twelve grand or something ridiculous. Anyway, we're gonna rest here. Um, let's see, I got those. I mean, this would be very useful because it increases our charisma even more and stacks with the ring of um, human influence. Quite happy with this. I don't have Mel's acid arrow, but I, this is fine. These are fine for now, and I'll find it at some point. I'd have to buy it. So, um, and yeah, I think that'll serve us quite well for now. We're gonna rest. I don't think there'll be a cut scene. Because it's the first time we're resting. Now, I might try. This is actually quite a tall order. Might try this. these guys. They may well be way too strong for me. It's entirely possible that they are. Let's give it a go. So... Do they have any... Protection from normal. Now they have a sh they have a thief here. I want to sort of like keep there, but I don't think I'll be able to. He's going to backstab me to death. This is going to be way too tough for me. I just know it is. But hey, I could cheese it, but I'm not going to. Oh, on me. Oh, what would you like? We're going to wait a little bit for the round to change. Hello! So, idle threats and stuff, and then I did skip through all that, I'm sorry, I said I wouldn't start doing that, but I, I did for that. But yeah, idle threats and all that, and they all talk amongst each other. In fact, here's the conversation. Because the writing in this game is brilliant. It's nice. You know? It's good. Um, watch your dwarf, I don't need to take your insults for long. And yeah, now they're going to attack us. First thing here. Cloud kill. Um, there. And then if we stand here. That should take out all their mages. Hopefully I'll get this up as well. <laughs> and this. This will make it very easy for me. Hopefully he's gonna backstab me and I'm gonna die. We missed. Okay, good. Right. Now then, let's start with this. Surprise didn't start hitting me. There, there we go. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. Yeah, I don't really have that much of, a, of an option once, um, ow. Barely injured. Near death, Pookie. Injured. These guys are the pain, though. Because I can't get any spells off. Where's that dwarf? I'll do it on him, actually. Yeah. They're, 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 there's too many of them. They're too powerful. Um, but I'll give it another go. Because they are too many of them, uh, and they are too powerful. I could cheese it by just uh, casting stone skin, uh, sorry, uh, cloud kill, and waiting for them to die without even engaging them. I don't think I'll bother with the protection from magic missiles. I will do this though. Hmm. I do things in a different order. Could do with some summons, really. So, now we can just um, go through this. See, they're all just talking, and then um, they threaten us. And we'll not take your insults for long. Right, so the first thing I want to do is horror. Wasn't as effective as I would have liked. Hmm. I just feel like it's reloading that now. Um, 
Okay, well we're not going to do cloud kill yet because that doesn't take any some casting time. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we might as well just reload this now because it's just going to hack us to bits. We're already taking damage. Alright. This is a learning experience, so there may well be lots of reloading here, but yeah, I'm going to give this a little bit of a go. So probably the first thing I want to cast is Greater Malaise on, followed by Horror. Then shove a uh, possibly a cloud kill in there. That one of summoning would have been really useful now. <laughs> now I'll skip it because we've seen it twice. So, this one. I am mightily powerful and you don't stand a chance. Totally. Okay, better. Actually, no, a little bit further in. Slightly misjudged. Ow. Yeah, now I'm almost dead. Badly injured, near death again, injured, barely injured. I think these guys are way too powerful for me. Use a spell against them. Drink it! Did I just lose a bunch of... Uh... <laughs> Pookie died. Sounded like I... Oh yeah, I'm cursed. I don't know. It seems like, yeah, it just sounded like I, um... Ow. Lost a bunch of reputation. Don't, don't just stand there. That would not be good for you at all. Oh, I can't cast it on it. Wait a minute. No, I can't. Ah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not good enough for that. I was just curious about, you know... Haven't really had, like, a major fight yet, apart from against uh, Elich, whatever he was called. So I just wanted to Nothing test good. that one. So we won't do that one. In fact, I think... Um, we can call it a day for this video for now. Um, next time we will head to the slums. I'll just go to the edge of the district. And yeah, we'll go to the slums. We'll probably do the copper coroner. I reckon I can uh, manage to do that. And then get some better equipment. Because currently we're... we're, we're um, you know, we only have a plus one longsword and a normal bloody medium shield. So I think actually I did pretty well against those guys with what I had. It was sort of a test that was. That was a benchmark. Because that's a reasonably difficult um, oh, right, encounter, right. and we 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 did them all right. We you know, we we did pretty well because it was just the one of us. So that's that. Thanks for watching Baldur's Gate Two solo, and um, yes, see you next week where we'll try and do the Copper Coronet and possibly some other little things around Athcathler, I imagine. Toodaloo.